Hey everybody, welcome back. I am pushing this guy around on a bike and I wanted to talk to you guys about chicken permits because I think a fair amount of people have questions about chicken permits if they live in city limits of a municipality. So where we live, we had to get a chicken permit. Although the application process was about six or seven pages long, it was a pretty easy one. So I figured I would just walk you through it. So if you live in a municipality and you're curious, you can find out easily. So first thing is that not all municipalities require a chicken permit. And basically what you would need to do is go to Google, type in your municipality and chicken permit. So say you live in Minneapolis, and you want to know. So just go to Google, type in Minneapolis chicken permit, and it should be fairly obvious. If it isn't fairly obvious and you still have questions, you can just call the city planning office and ask them about chicken permits. And if they say yes, then have them send you the link and there you go. So that's how you can find out if you need a chicken permit for your own self. So where we live, we are allowed to have chickens in town and there were a few different types of chicken permits. So the one that we got was like zero to six chickens. I believe you can have up to 15 if you're in the city limits. And that wasn't the one we did. I'm not sure why. I think maybe we never thought we needed 15 chickens, so we didn't really need to do that one. So the application form was about six or seven pages long. I'm just gonna go through a few of the elements. So obviously it included just like regular application information. It included a site plan, and then it also included notifications and signatures from the neighbors. So the site plan, was a super easy sketch up and you may or may not be required to do this depending on your chicken permit. So the site plan was just a hand sketched thing that I did on paper that basically showed the city, the distances we were planning on putting in the coop from the neighboring building. And so the site plan was super simple. You just had to sketch it out on paper. The distances you're planning on putting everything to the neighboring buildings and to your home and to the property line and the fences and that kind of stuff. After we had submitted our application, somebody from the city did come out and measure the distances that I had put on the site plan just to ensure that I was accurate. Another part of the application process was notifying the neighbors. So in the chicken application, it provided a notification to the neighbors that I just had to take to them, which basically said, you know, we're planning on getting chickens. And I guess if you have any complaints, like this is the number with the city to call, et cetera, et cetera. All right, I'm just gonna finish up this video inside because things got a little crazy outside so I had to bring it on in. But I was able to look up the chicken permit so I can give you guys a little bit more information about what you might need for your chicken permit based on what we needed for our chicken permit. The two different chicken permits, like I said, one for fewer than six chickens and one for up to 15 chickens, it actually both was a one-time fee. One was $25, which is the one that goes up to six chickens, and then the other one was only $50. So it wasn't too much of a price difference and it wasn't like an annual payment or anything. I think that we just didn't need 15 chickens. We were just a small household. We didn't even have a son we got the chicken permit. And so six chickens is more than enough for just our small family. So for notifying the neighbors, you can either go and ask them for their information directly or you can go online and find that information through a cadastro website or your county's clerk and recorder information. So another really interesting thing to know about our chicken permit is that if you are applying for more than six chickens, so between six and 15 chickens, the permit says that if two or more neighbors protest it, that means that you won't be able to have chickens. Nobody was able to protest our chickens, so I'm not sure what that looks like in your municipality, but that's just a little tidbit about ours. Where we live, we're not allowed to have roosters, and if you live in a municipality, the chances that you are not allowed to have a rooster is probably high. I don't think most cities allow roosters because they are very, very noisy, which we all know and love maybe. And finally, another really good thing about the chicken permits, with the permits, because you're required to give some information about the chickens, the city is ensuring that you are taking care of your chickens because whenever you apply for the permit, you have to basically sign saying, I'm gonna be taking care of the chickens, they're gonna be enclosed away from predators, they're gonna have food in their water. Another interesting thing that I just read on our chicken permit is that no chickens can be slaughtered within the public view. So you're allowed to slaughter chickens in your backyard away from public view, but you can't just have everyone be able to see it. And then if your city did a good job of putting together the application, they should just have a checklist that you just need to go down and it'll say exactly what you need. With that, I hope that helps you kind of get a better understanding of whether or not you're allowed to have chickens and the process you need to go through if indeed your city has a chicken permit requirement. With that, I hope this helps. I highly encourage you getting chickens if you live in the city limits or anywhere. Chickens have been a huge benefit to our life. They've brought so much joy and happiness and fresh eggs and it's just a great thing to have in your backyard. So don't be deterred from getting chickens just because you live in the city and just look into the permit and it should be easy peasy. So thanks for watching and we'll see you next time.